Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Microsoft Azure Log Analytics. Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Microsoft Azure Log Analytics. This is an updated version of one of my more popular videos published back in April of 2017. A lot has changed over the past couple years. Log Analytics is now part of Azure Monitor. The OMS portal has been depreciated. The licensing model has changed. Also, the delivery from this guy was pretty dry back then. Before I get started, I have two quick things to go over. First, I have a playlist with a lot of details and more advanced stuff on Log Analytics as well as Azure Automation. So if you're interested in learning more about Log Analytics or uh, Azure Automation, check out my channel. And while you're there, please subscribe. That lets me know that people are watching these and they're appreciated. It feeds my ego and it'll make this dog, Toby, very happy. Just a couple quick slides to go over before we get started with setting up the Log Analytics workspace. First, let's get started with what exactly Log Analytics is. Log Analytics is part of Azure Monitor. It's a log collection and search service hosted in Microsoft Azure. It's in the same market space as Splunk or Datadog. It works with Windows and Linux servers in and external to Azure, including on-premises computers or computers hosted with other cloud providers. Log Analytics can collect data from custom logs as well as by an API. Many Azure services can log directly into Log Analytics. This is great if you want to search and report on things like Azure AD activity or storage account activity. Next, a quick note about licensing. I have another video that covers the April 2018 changes in licensing. As a quick overview, here are the two licensing models available for Log Analytics. There's the pre-2018 model, which has three different tiers, including a tier with uh, multiple solutions and suites. That model has been depreciated. You can be grandfathered in if you have that in place, but if you're setting up the first workspace in a new subscription, you're gonna be on the post-2018 pricing model, which is a purely consumption-based model. Another question you may have if you're setting up your first workspace is do you want one workspace or multiple? You could do both. There are some considerations though. All data from all sources can be sent to a single workspace. That's not a problem. And Windows clients can actually send data to multiple workspaces. But just keep in mind that log collection is set per workspace, meaning that whatever logs you define to be collected, that's going to be collected on all clients connected to that workspace. Log retention is also set at the workspace. So if you had a test environment in a production, maybe you don't need to keep that test data around as long as the production. That would be a reason why you might want to split up to multiple workspaces. Also, a workspace is a security boundary. So uh, if you have sensitive data, on a few servers that only certain people should have access to, that may be another reason to set up multiple workspaces. With that, let's move on to the demos. Here I am at the dashboard. If you don't have an Azure subscription, you will need one to set up log analytics. So I'm gonna go into all services. We'll look for log analytics. And you can see a couple things pop up. Uh, we have log analytics as well as Azure monitor. Log Analytics is now part of Azure Monitor. That's why you see it there twice. Notice that I have the stars selected. By selecting that, it puts it in my list here on the left. So uh, if you're new to this, that's a way of uh, uh, indicating favorites so you can access them easily. So I'm gonna go into Log Analytics. You can see I have a couple workspaces already set up, but I'm going to click the Add to add a new one. Okay, so the Add Log Analytics Workspace blade comes up. I'm gonna create new, and I'm gonna type in a name. The name that I enter has to be globally unique. So let's do, I'll just throw in something. It's gonna check, and there it's verified that it's an acceptable name. I'm gonna select my subscription, and I'm gonna create a new resource group. I'll just add in something. Okay, moving on to location. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. If you're only setting up a log analytics workspace, it really doesn't matter. But if you're setting up a log analytics workspace and you intend to link it to an Azure Automation account, you'll need to consider the location that you're adding this to. Microsoft documentation says that the log analytics workspace and Azure Automation account need to be in the same region, but there is no East US in Azure Automation, there's actually East US 2. Those two can be linked together. 
I have another video that goes uh, deeper into this. Again, check out the playlist and you'll be able to find that. But understand if you're just throwing up one to kind of experiment and play with, it doesn't really matter. But if you're putting this in production and you want to link those accounts or you think you might want to link the accounts down the road, it's important to make sure that those regions are going to link together. So for this, I'm just going to select East US. And here is the pricing option. You can see that the only option I have here is the per gig. If I had set up a workspace pre-April 2018 in this subscription, I could see multiple options here. That would mean that I'm on the old pricing model. There is the ability to upgrade that pricing model to the new one, but consider what may be in use before you do that upgrade process. It could be more economical to stay with the older pricing model if it's available. So I'll just click OK. Click OK again, and my workspace is now getting set up. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to move Log Analytics up here. Okay, so it's done. If I hit Refresh, here we can see the new workspace. Let's go into that. When you first set up the workspace, it's really not configured to collect anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down into Advanced Settings and go to Data. Here we can see the multiple services that the workspace can be configured to collect data from. So for Windows event logs, I want to collect all system and application. Here you can see it's found system, which is the log that I want to collect, but it's also pulling up other logs with the word system in it. So if you want a specialized or a custom log, you can find it in this list. If you can't find it in the list, you can add it manually. I do have information publicly available on how to set that up as well. So I'm going to click System, Add, and from here you can select if you want error warning information or a combination of the three. Next I'll go to Performance Counters. I'm going to just select what Microsoft has an option here. Note that you're paying for the amount of data collected. So if you didn't need all these performance counters or if you didn't need them at 10 seconds intervals, you can modify that. If you have a Linux VM, you can add performance counters as well. If you have IS servers running in this environment, you can select this to collect the data. Keep in mind, as I said at the beginning of this, whatever you configure here is going to be pushed out to all the clients. So if you had 100 servers with IIS installed, it's going to pull back the log data for all of them. The same with event logs and performance counters. This is a workspace-wide setting. Custom fields and custom logs are something I get into in other videos. If you have Linux servers running in your environment, you can configure syslogs. So I'm going to hit Save, and that saves it. Let's go back over here and go to Connected Sources. This blade offers the ability to download an agent and run it, the install manually, as well as gives you the workspace IDs and the keys. Same with Linux. You can connect to Azure Storage. You can also connect this to System Center. Computer groups allow you to create these groups based on either searches or uh, Microsoft Active Directory, Windows Server Update Service, or SCCM. These groups can be used in different areas in Azure Monitor, as well as for scoping solutions. And again, as I said before, I have a video on that as well. And with that, we are done. We have the Azure Log Analytics workspace set up. Please check out the playlist at the end for additional information on configuring and using Azure Log Analytics. Thanks again for watching, and please subscribe. Oh,